Hey everybody, so I'm going to show you a quick way how we can uh, do the volume of a substance uh, without actually having to do any measurements. So this is a cylinder, we could easily uh, measure this, we could find its diameter and its length and we could uh, use pi and we could figure it out. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to use this displacement can. So we know that this object is going to take up space inside the can and you can see there's a spout here. And it's quite full and so when I take this and I put it into the displacement can, there's going to be water that comes out into my graduated cylinder. And so I just have to leave it here and I have to actually wait until it stops dripping water. And we're going to see what the volume of water was that got pushed out. And that's going to help me know, or it will tell me, uh, what the volume of that object was. Okay, so now I've got the fluid from the overflow can and now I get to measure the volume. So for this object right here, if I look just below the surface of the water, you can see that the water actually, it bends a little bit. It's got two layers is what it looks like and it's just where the water adheres or uses adhesion to stick to the sides of the glass container. So we always read from the bottom of the meniscus and you can see in this case, that we've got nine milliliters. So the volume of the cylinder would be nine milliliters.